Hey guys, Silence here. Here, welcome back to the Uta Macross Gacha video with me. Uh, as you can see, we have a few banners here that is brand new, mainly because it is now Milene's turn to shine with her brand new uh, costume. And of course, when there's a brand new costume, it means the Gacha is all set up for you to get points for that costume itself. Now we don't know whether this event currently. Um, we'll have another gacha coming following behind Melines, uh, but we can speculate that might be one because well there aren't really that many brand new episode plates included in this gacha itself. Uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I have posted up the available brand new plates within the gacha for Melin on the Macross Space Time the Culture group if you guys are still not joined up as members there uh, do join our Macross family over there as we talk about or anything about Macross including Uta Macross itself so let's dive into the gacha and take a look to see whether Milin's plate is worth your money obtaining it or at least maybe focus on saving up singing stones for future gachas that her plate might reappear in. So let's take a look at the episode plate itself. Straight away off the bat, we see something that is pretty awesome, which is about 3,404 points in total score, mainly focusing on soul. And of course, we have the four divas equipable with um, the episode plate itself. If you are particular about which divas are equipable with your with this episode plate because they are your favorite divas, well, make sure you take note of this. I have not mentioned this before in the past, mainly because if you guys um, are not so particular about it, you know, just because Milin is your favorite character and you always use Milin, then of course um, this does not really play a part or, or, or in part of. of uh, importance because well maybe the other divas involved might be your second favorites or third favorites and they and then you might have them in your team fixed permanently instead of switching them out so yeah so that's why i'm mentioning it now uh, especially when it comes to high score challenges if you guys are playing in that way as well uh, it might affect your play style if you have to switch out your divas and all that stuff so all right so center skill of course looking at its s rank units total and support will gain 20% up. Not the best percentage up, but it is an S rank skill, mainly because uh, boost in total score and support. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with support, support is basically the points that requires um, you to have you know to beat the opponent during the Valkyrie battle phase within the live itself, which of course gives you a higher chance of activating Cho Utahime mode. Or, you know in case you miss out on a certain notes during the Valkyrie combat phase and then you still wish to complete that mission that says you need to complete the song with Cho Utahime mode activated that kind of thing so yeah so 20% is not the highest you've seen but because it is a dual support skill uh, that's pretty fantastic as well then of course oh look at that so we do have another plate that has all triple S skills which is fantastic so active skill not the one that you want for a high score challenge, but you know, for at the for 12 seconds, your combos do not break. So, um, I guess it's pretty good to have this when it comes to missions and, of course, events like this that we are currently going through, where you need to complete task or certain requirements um, after a live, you know, or during a live to get the um, full bonus percentage score. Then, of course, the live skill, which is pretty important as well. At the 30 second mark, for 7 seconds, your score is boosted by 80% up. So it's not the best score boosting uh, for life skill that we've seen so far because in the last event, we do get our first glimpse of the 100% boost. Um, but 80% is the next best thing, uh, although the duration time period is only 7 seconds, which is pretty sad. But, you know, um, considering that this is a score repeat skill, um, score, if you guys aren't familiar, we do have a brand new loading screen, I'll put an image of it down here, that basically tells you what kind of episode plates or live skills you require for the types of songs. So songs with a pretty long duration of time, you need score repeat skills, which is basically this one, if you guys can read the hiragana, uh, or katakana, sorry. Um, yeah. Um, score repeat skills are basically um, skills that activate later in the, the stage um, 
and yeah, so pretty fantastic. So 30 seconds, yeah, it's pretty late into the song. Uh, it's almost halfway through, I guess, if the song is for maybe about 1, mi one minute and 40 seconds, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, so sadly to say, no special notes attached to this uh, episode played for Milin, but with all the S rank skills and the pretty high uh, average total score, I would say this plate is definitely a must get, um, especially replacing all the older episode plates out there. This is a very big first for Milin. She has never really gotten a very powerful plate before, uh, except for the ones that are used for high score purposes, which was the last one. Which, let me see, I think, is it in this one? Could be this one. No, it's not this one. So there is another one um, of Milin's. Yeah, we do get to see the exclusive plate for this gacha as well. Pretty cute. Um, yeah, uh, if you recall the one where um, Milin was wearing a costume that looked like a Super Sentai. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that plate was one of the uh, better few plates for Milin as well. So we now have currently in this game two plates that are awesome for Milin. Uh, that includes this one and of course the one that she looks like she was wearing that Super Sentai costume. Um, anyway guys, I only have enough for one template pool. We're gonna do that and then uh, hopefully we do get one copy of the plate. And uh, hopefully in the future when I do get my second Rarity Up Star, we can evolve that plate and make it useful for high score challenge purposes. And of course adding more points to unlocking Yulin's costume as well. So let's do this guys. Alright, so our luck hasn't been fantastic all this while. Hopefully this time round, we do get something good. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there is a slight chance for a rainbow plate. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we will actually obtain the brand new plate itself. So we do have the rainbow box off the bat from the second blink. Alright, we're gonna wait for this to evolve maybe? No? Okay, so... I don't have a lot of this plate, so the luck value on it is pretty low. But it's working towards uh, getting there, you know, a plus 20 episode plate. <laughs> Alright, so skipping all the common stuff. Okay. You know, sometimes the normal boxes do evolve as well. So here we go, the rainbow plate. Okay, so it's not the brand new Milene plate, but it is an old Milene plate. Not the best one out there, but still awesome because 6 star plates having a secret board unlock is pretty fantastic in the way um, but it's gonna be a while before it becomes very very useful in the long run because you know to get duplicate five star episode plates is pretty difficult so no brand new million plate oh wait I don't have that wow okay I didn't expect this I thought I have this already so hmm anyways still not too bad um, it's always nice to have brand new stuff uh, I didn't I didn't expect I didn't have this as well. So <laughs> Alright guys, so hopefully you guys have better luck with um this gacha and of course trying to get Milene's brand new episode plate. I don't know, maybe should we do a single pool? You know, just for the lows. Who knows? Maybe I maybe I might get lucky. <laughs> Um, I don't know, it's never a good idea to do single pools, but okay, let's just do one single pool just for the lows. Who knows? Okay, here we go. The only single pool I will do. I'm gonna keep the rest of the... Oh! Really? Three planes? That's pretty interesting. Do we get a red box at least? No red box? Okay, that's fine. So I guess it's a pretty rare normal box. Um, I guess not, since I have like many copies of it already. <laughs> so, um, the the gacha really pulled my, um, I would say expectations strings. Um, that really really give me a, a false hope right there. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully, all the information is is useful as always and. Yeah, do like, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Um, you know, all the good, wonderful stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, bye!